Oh my god, you've come back. I'm so happy. It's the Starving Artist. I'm Dave Volpe, and I'm terribly excited, even more so than usual, because today we're doing cornbread. This is not some ordinary cornbread. This is maple bacon cornbread, friends. Before you do anything for maple bacon cornbread, you have to fry bacon. Uh, so I have here an entire pound, one whole packet of bacon that I've chopped up into little strips, fried in a very hot skillet, got nice and crispy, put it on this plate with paper towels, let it cool. I've also saved the grease. I've also eaten half of it, so you might want to make two packages. There's only one way I know how to make cornbread, and that is a cast iron skillet. So over here, I have a cast iron skillet. It's 10 inches. What we're gonna do is I've preheated my oven to 425 degrees, nice and hot, and I'm gonna just take this skillet and I'm gonna put it in the oven, dry, and let it get really, really hot, just like my body. So our skillet's getting nice and sizzling hot. Now we're gonna come back here and do the rest of our ingredients and make the batter. What I've already done is melted a half a stick of butter in the microwave, and I'm just letting that go back to room temperature a bit. Uh, and now time for the dry ingredients. So I have in this bowl already one cup of all-purpose flour, and I'm now going to add one cup of Quaker cornmeal. And now we need three quarters of a cup of white sugar. Up next, we need salt. We always need salt in everything, whether sweet or savory. So I am gonna put in a teaspoon of kosher salt. Next, we need baking powder, two teaspoons. And last but not least, we need some baking soda. We're doing just a half a teaspoon of this. All right, and that's all our dry ingredients. So now we're gonna take our whisk and we're gonna whisk it all together. All right, these are all mixed. Now it's time for our wet ingredients. First thing for our wet ingredients, buttermilk. We're gonna have a cup of buttermilk in here. We're gonna add two eggs. And now it's time for our star ingredient, which is maple syrup. This is real maple syrup. Do not put pancake syrup into my effing cornbread. We're gonna add two, about two tablespoons. I always eyeball this. I'm just gonna chug that right in there. And then we're gonna whisk these ingredients together. Oh yes. Mm. Now it's time for the butter. This again is a half stick of butter. And now for our other special ingredient. Remember I was telling you to save that bacon grease? The time has come, friends. We're gonna put two tablespoons of this bacon grease in here. And now we're whisking all this together. Now comes that magical time where we combine our wet and our dry to make our cornbread batter. So I'm gonna take my wets and just pour them right on top of the dry. And then I'm gonna whisk this just until it's combined. So right about there. Nice and smooth. There might be a lump or two, that's fine. Um, always err on the side of less stirring if you can. And then, last but not least, our final ingredient, the bacon. And we're gonna just gently fold this into the batter. So that means our batter is ready to go and it's time to make our cornbread. Oh my gosh. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually pour this right into a skillet in the oven because it's too hot really to handle. And we just wanna keep that heat in there and cook it right on there. So then I'm gonna just pour just a little bit of oil on here. And then we're gonna just swish it around and make sure the bottom of the pan is coated because you want to be able to get the cornbread out of the pan. Mm -hmm. Just pour the batter right into the burning hot pan. I like to take my pot holder, just kind of give it a little shake and make sure it's kind of evenly on there. So the minute you pour that batter in there, you're gonna be able to see the edges are already starting to seize up. And that is why we have this skillet be so hot because that is what's gonna give us that beautiful deep brown golden crust that we all love about cornbread. We're gonna slide the thing back in, close the oven, set your timer for 15 minutes, and you'll have some cornbread. So it's been 15 minutes, that means it's time for cornbread. All right, we're gonna look in the oven, and before we take it out, we're gonna do a little check. I'm gonna press it, it's nice and springy, and there's no jiggle. We're not putting, we don't, like, our spears and sink in there. That's what we want, all right? So we're gonna take that out of there. I like to let this sit for usually for a few minutes, and then what I do is I run a knife around the side and make sure it's loosened off on the sides. And this one definitely is. We're gonna flip this over onto the cooling rack, say a prayer, hold your breath, and flip it over. And now we have our properly sided cornbread. And we're ready for the very last step to this amazingness, which is a glaze that I have made in here. This is about two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and a couple, just a little smidge of bacon grease, okay? And you wanna let it cool for a little bit. I like to let it sit for, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes or so before you really get into it. But since we're starving and since I don't give a crap, I'm gonna cut it right now. I'm gonna just dive right in here and cut myself a slice. I like to cut this as a pie. Look, there's a piece of bacon in there. Ah! I'm gonna just do this. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Mmm. It's moist and mmm. You get the savoriness of the bacon grease that's in there. And a little bit of that background of the maple and also in the, the glaze as well. Just gives you that extra sweetness. 
It's really phenomenal, and I can and have eaten this entire thing in one sitting, but I won't do that today because it's kind of boring. But I'm gonna keep showing it in my mouth. I hope you enjoyed this delicious Yankee cornbread. I'm Dave Will Babis and Starving Artist. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.